Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Soto. Terrible, just terrible is all I could say. It's right now 6.16. 15 minutes ago I checked the weather and it was 104 degrees outside Colorado time. 104 degrees! I'm glad I'm inside where it's a little bit more cool. The one I worry about is Mr. Soto because, guys, he does landscaping. Well, it's been over 20 years he's been doing landscaping, so he's, can I even say experienced in the hot weather? Because this is crazy hot right now because we're only in June. And then I saw on the news a little bit earlier that there was like 13 wildfires going out of control in Colorado. It, it's crazy. Nevertheless, I wanted to bring you something today. This was what I saw on um, Bible study yesterday. I thought it was interesting um, because I had never noticed this before. Now what I'm going to read to you is out of the book of Job. Okay, and you guys know the story of Job. But this is the point. This is where... Um, it was where God told Satan, okay, he could go ahead and and do his wickedness there and against Job. And then it says, and I never noticed this, and I started thinking about it yesterday. It says, uh, this is in Job chapter 1, verse 19. This is at the point where um, Satan was going to go against Job's kids now because the cattle and all of that had already been stolen and stuff. Okay, now watch. Verse 19, it said, And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness. And this is the servant guy saying this to Job. He's saying, There came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young man, and they're dead, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. And then I'm like, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Now, this is Satan doing this. God had given him permission. And I thought to myself, Satan had control of the weather? Even for that day? Because it said there came a great wind from the wilderness. Satan controlled the weather that day. And then I'm like, whoa, okay, is he controlling the weather today? Do we even know? I, I don't know. I don't know how much power God had given him on earth. I don't know. And then I know that, well, let me continue on. It goes to say, um, well, of course, the next verse talks about jo um, Job arose and then he rent his mantle the next verse talks about, the verse 21 says, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return thither. The Lord gave, and the Lord hath taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. But then this next verse got to me because it says, verse 22, In all this Job sinned not, not charged God foolishly. He didn't blame God. So I'm thinking, oh wow, some of the stuff with the weather, I have even said that I thought it was, I, I prayed yesterday and said, Lord God, forgive me because I think I've thought and even said that you were responsible for the different things that had gone on, the earthquakes, the different things, you know, I... I spoke foolishly, I charged to God foolishly for saying that, and I asked him for forgiveness yesterday because just like this says in verse 22, Job sinned not, nor charged to God foolishly. Job didn't blame God. Have some of us blamed God for all of these weather things? And I think, I started thinking about it seriously, and I wanted to tell you guys, I believe what now I believe what it probably is I I don't I'm not a, a Bible scholar I just think you know I just think maybe um, 
the Holy Spirit is holding back holding back everything uh, as far as the weather goes maybe it is Satan right now like it said in, in verse 19 how when it says there came a great wind from the wilderness and that shows us that on that day Satan had control over the weather maybe Satan's the one controlling all of these things today it's not God doing it maybe Holy Spirit's holding back and after the rapture during the tribulation maybe maybe that's when Holy Spirit will let go and then that's when God will allow the different weather related things to start coming on the world I don't know that's just my opinion that's just my thought for whatever it's worth but this, this verse and I never noticed it before it's showing us in verse 19 when it said there came a great wind from the wilderness Satan was responsible for the weather that day is he still responsible for the weather things that are going on today could it be sometimes I you know I might say maybe it's harp or one of these other things that have some kind of controlling over the weather they the scientists have um, knowledge of how they can control the weather well maybe so but that might be dare I think it's some kind of wickedness maybe Satan twisting the mind of whoever is in the laboratory in control of whatever we don't know all I know is there's so much wickedness right now in this world it's hard to know I wanted to share that with you today though that what I had found in the book of Job I wanted to share that with you guys because I thought it was really really interesting and so I, I also one quick thing I wanted to share with you a lot of people have been asking they've even been asking me what is the age of accountability you know the age of accountability and the only word that I keep in my mind to tell me what is the age of accountability I look at, at it this way I look at the word unable the ones that aren't going to be held accountable are the ones who are unable unable to distinguish what salvation even is there are some that are mentally impaired of course there's the children the babies but even beyond that there are some people that are mentally mentally handicapped and they're not even able to do anything for themselves they're unable so when we look at the age of accountability maybe we can we can look at it in terms of who's able to understand salvation who's not able unable and, and that that might be a good way to look at it anyways uh, so um I made another video for you guys earlier but I'm not going to post it maybe I'll post it tomorrow but anyways I wanted to say hi and say hi to everybody and I hope you're staying cool wherever you are I hope you're staying cool and I hope it's not killer hot where where you're living and um, I love you guys Jesus will be coming soon and then we'll meet we'll meet with him when we're with him if you know the Lord Jesus Christ, if he's your savior, we'll meet. So I'll leave you with that. Bye, friends. I love you. Bye.